Warning, Channel Robozoid contains adult language, adult content, strong opinions, and verbal brutality. Viewer discretion is advised. Destroy Social Security. Uh, I am going to leave Social Security. I'm not raising the years. I'm not raising the age. Uh, I will be saving Social Security, and I'm going to work it out that there's no tax on Social Security for seniors. I'm also doing no tax on tips. No tax on tips. So waiters, waitresses, caddies, uh, people that drive cars, people that get tips who have been harassed by this government, we're going to have no tax on tips. That's a big thing. Including to raise the minimum wage and eliminate taxes on tips for service and hospitality workers. A few moments later. That's oh, my bar. Shit. He copied my oh, whole shit. Bro. That kissed me through the phone. He copied my whole Oh, word for word, bar for bar. Hello, fellow patriots. It is I, the Robozoid, your semi-likable and occasionally tolerable curmudgeon of the YouTube airwaves, coming at you yet again with another video. Uh, sorry, once again with another video. In any case, well, of course, of course, Kamala, unfortunately, is leading in the polls in states like Pennsylvania and, of course, Illinois. But, you know, that's just something that you have to get used to because there are a lot of dumb people in those majors, in those battleground states and uh, the big cities. There's just a lot of stupid people. I guess we have to talk about Kamala again because, quite frankly, now she actually appears to be stealing Trump's policies, boosting his ideas, and taking all the credit for it, or that is to say that the lamestream media are giving her all the credit for it, because if ever Trump says something, it's a bad thing. If Kamala says something, it's a good thing, because, let's face it, the fourth estate has become the fifth column, in which uh, they just, they don't even engage in real journalism anymore. They're not even real journalists. They're just propaganda agencies that are cheerleaders for Kamala. They want her to succeed. And quite frankly, it's just, while it's tedious to the rest of us, and as well as annoying, well, quite frankly, they're not going to stop with that. And what they're doing is they're allowing Kamala to take credit for ideas that Trump came up with during his campaign rallies. Um, and that is, of course, the uh, no tax on tips and other things like uh, cutting back taxes on Social Security for senior citizens and, well, just basically keeping the retirement age at the minimum of 65, which it's supposed to be, by the way. But nevertheless, you've got cackling Kamala taking all the credit for it and the lamestream media giving her a complete pass on it. Take a look. Oh, Don, I want to ask you about something that just came in last night. We saw a big speech in Nevada by uh, Kamala Harris, and she came out for um, no tax on tips. Where have I heard that before? Well, look, I, I'm... It's like one of the few policy specifics that Donald Trump has offered. And, and she also gave more details, I think, on how to make that a reality. Look. Flashback. Biden seems intent on taking your oh, earnings hostage. Now, the IRS, they just announced this week that they want to start tracking all of the tips that workers earn so that they can be taxed. Wait, I got to pause this for a minute because I'm a little taken aback here. Is... Is the wall banger actually wearing a tie? I mean, did he actually finally learn to stop exposing his wrinkled neck and wear a tie? Uh, I'm not really impressed. I'm just shocked. That's all. For it. Uh, so, so much for Biden's sacred promise not to raise taxes on anyone making less than $400,000 a year. Remember, this is all part of Biden's so-called Inflation Reduction Act. The yeas are 50, the nays are 50. The Senate being equally divided, the vice president votes in the affirmative and the bill as amended is passed. All right, so that footage came from this is week, I mean this week from ABC, in which they were talking about uh, Kamala actually boosting Trump's uh, policies here. Um, let me just say as a brief aside, uh, yeah. It is nice to see Trump finally focusing on the policies and not the attacks. I mean, that's fine. That's all good and fine if he wants to do that. I mean, he already did put out this attack ad. Uh, if, you, if you've if you seen this one before, take a look. 
And she's failed us. Under Harris, over 10 million illegally here. A quarter of a million Americans dead from fentanyl. Brutal migrant crimes. And ISIS now here. Do you have any plans to visit the border? You haven't been to the border. And I haven't been to Europe. <laughs> I, mean, I don't understand the point that you're making. Kamala Harris failed. Weak, dangerously liberal. <laughs> And you heard that in the attack ad. ISIS is now at your very doorstep thanks to the failed policies of the senile hologram in the basement and the laughing hyena. Of course, what Trump is proposing is an obvious tax cut on tips, which apparently, and also other things, uh, you know, uh, a cut, tax cut on, uh, on Social Security. And, well, quite frankly, let's face it, Kamala just repeats the same talking points as if it was her idea. Well, quite frankly, that woman never had a genuine idea of her own, really, since... since... <laughs> screw it, she probably never had an idea of her own. And finally, of course, we have the usual suspects of PMSNBC. You know the type. Uh, obviously, the booze and foos who praise Kamala for taking credit for stealing Trump's idea of the uh, no tax on tips and also uh, lowering the cost of uh, Medicare and also no tax on senior citizens. But, uh, of course, you know how they're going to spin this thing. I mean, even if uh, one person tries to make the argument that that's, a, that's Trump's proposal, not Harris's, uh, because as we already know by now, Harris has no strategy. She has no proposals. She only has an agenda, and that agenda is just to beat Donald Trump and also to make abortion mandatory, probably. I mean, well, what she calls, what she calls the right to choose, we in the real world call it the right to kill in the womb because that's what she's doing. That's the only policy she, as a woman, that this idiot has ever focused on. And of course, let's face it, I don't understand why most people, particularly people of the uh, minority communities, have not picked up on that yet. So, what the hell? And I don't even know why I gotta play this clip, but it looks like I do, because some people are just so stupid and clueless that they don't understand what more stupid nonsense by communists is up to, and why they praise Kamala so much, and why they can't stand Trump, and they won't give this guy a fair shake. Ugh. Let's just swallow our dignity and try to get through, through this one together. Take a look. And then the folks are hearing tangible policies. I know Donald Trump, you know, saying that the vice president copied him, but this this tipped wage piece is a uh, there is bipartisan movement here. That's because she did copy him. Very important, obviously, the backbone of the economy, specifically in a place like Las Vegas. And this she is did copy him. You self-imposed slave. What are you stupid? For people that they can feel. I know that um, there's reporting that the vice president is going to unveil more of her policy prescriptions when it comes to the economy in the coming weeks. What can you tell us um, as a little preview to that? Well, the vice president has always said that she had a focus on the middle class and those that were aspiring to be in the middle class. And so eliminating uh, taxes on tips uh, will help people that go to work every day and bust their butts uh, to keep food on the table, clothes on their back and a roof over their head. And this is going to be a significant impact. And this is also part of talking to people and uplifting families. So it's very consistent, and she will lay out uh, more of an economic uh, policy. You know, sometimes I wonder why I'm still even doing this, because it's the same thing day in and day out with the same usual crop of, of retarded liberals going on and on, waxing bucolic about how Trump is so bad. Trump is bad. Republicans bad. Democrats good. Now, that's the usual rhetoric. The, the, the usual rhetoric that you're going to get from the lamestream media because they so heavily praise the Democrats. They love Kamala Harris so much. I thought I'd mentioned it already that the love affair was just about over. The honeymoon was over. I mean, but nope, nope, they still go on with the usual policy of, you know, of Republicans bad, Democrats good. And another question I have to ask, what happened to the anti-war people? What happened to the old Democrat anti-war hype machine? 
I mean, we're not hearing a whole lot from uh, Hanoi from Hanoi Jane on why there sh why we should not go to war with uh, with Russia and Afghanistan. Why are they so gung ho for war all of a sudden? And we've become the the anti war party. Answer is because they're the old establishments. They have become the establishments. They've never they never were anti establishment. They've always wanted to be a part of the establishment, and now they are. So quite frankly, that's why they've turned traitor and decided to uh, just go ahead and wreak unswift and unrelenting, uh, unending war. And that's exactly what Kamala seems to want. She just wants to instigate World War III, which will probably end up killing us all. I mean, I hate to sound negative here, but let's face it, that's the way things are now. And I don't see a very bright future for this country anymore, certainly because certainly not if Trump loses, and I think he will lose, because judged on the last video that I just made, no one can resist a half-breed. Nobody can resist this Jamaican Indian woman uh, who just came out of nowhere, basically slept her way to the top to get where she is, had sex with every single politician in San Francisco to uh, get where she is now. That's all she is. She is a complete, she's just some nympho who got where she is right now. And why hasn't anyone accepted that? I mean, we played a little clip from Pawn Vanity earlier. Why didn't the wall banger bring that up? Oh, I know, the topic of sex scares him, even though the guy cheated on his wife and is now divorced. But I don't want to get off track, and I don't want this video to go too long. So quite frankly, I'm just going to leave it at this. Trump, Trump made these great policies, finally. I praise him for that. But, of course, Kamala takes all the credit for boosting these policies, you know, the no tax on tips, and, you know, she's going to get all the credit for it because the lamestream media adores her, and they hate Trump, <laughs> and they hate us, too. This has been the Robozoid saying, remember, be here or be, be here or be nowhere. Also, of course, yeah, I'm doing this in reverse. Uh, you know, if you like this video, and I'm sure you did, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and also make sure you're still subscribed if you can't find us here because of what YouTube did. You can always check me out over on Rumble. Also, remember, of course, that wokeness is weakness as well as a mental disorder. And, of course, remember, we got uh, the power to the people is much needed right now, which includes our voices, and that voice is the power to the music in the streets. And that's about all I really need to say here. So again, be here or be nowhere.